I'm Dave, KE0OG, and I'm going to try and answer a question here. This is from Ricky B. Good, and it's a comment on one of my videos. He says he has a Yagi. It operates on 10, 15, 20, and 40. 40 is a big band for a Yagi. says, I know that optimum height is one half wave above the ground. Yes, it is, which creates a problem for you. But you've got so many different frequencies, you can have it half wave above ground for only one of those. So what is the optimum height? Well, what most people do is get it as high as they can. If you're a real rich contest or something, you'll put real tall tower with the same antenna at different heights. So you can get diff different things there. Dipoles are usually half wave. Wouldn't a full wave be better if you have the space? Yes and no. Normally, if you're going to do a single pan dipole, the antenna has to be a half wavelength long, okay? It's just so it'll resonate. You try and resonate a full wave. Mm -hmm. However, if you create an end fed antenna, all right, and it's 66 feet long, it'll work beautifully on 40 and 20 and 15 and 10. So how does that work? I've never really done the modeling of an end fed half wave. I should. Until we next meet, 73.